Welcome back to another episode of The Beauty of AIDS. This week we're with a buddy of mine. Um, you can call him Sneak from Sneaks Wall Art. Um, I'm actually in his workshop at the moment. It is fascinating. The amount of stuff that he's managed to cram into this workshop it is amazing we're gonna have a little wander around I'm gonna get sneak to give us a little tour of his world uh, and then we'll ask him a few questions and see what's really behind uh, sneaks wall art oh so, do you want to give us a little tour of your workshop I mean yeah, when course. I know I, I was looking on your Instagram mm -hmm. and I noticed a lot of pictures of you and your brother building this yeah uh, and I can see that a lot of it is all recycled, which I'm really, Definitely. you know, I'm a, a big advocate of recycling. Yes, I am. Um, uh, but do you want to take us a little walk around and, and, and tell us why you built it this way? And, you know, there's an island in the middle, which is yeah. strange. <laughs> <laughs> but, a lot of people have said that, yeah. but I, I needed that because of the, the, the way of the structure of the workshop. Do you know what I mean? There was a pillar. There is a pillar in the centre. So to make it a bit safer so I didn't knock it or whatever. I oh, to support the roof? Yeah, to oh, support right, the roof. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I built this wall um, to give it more su support. Do you know what I mean? Not like I'll be going on the roof or anything. Yeah. Just yeah. more support. I think I, I, it works though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where else would you put all your router bits? Well, well, yeah. well that's it. <laughs> but knowing me, I'll find a way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but yeah, um, my um, drill press, um, I was just looking at this before we started filming, and it is it's brilliant. It's an axe minster, but it is like a sliding um, cross cut. It's got that, you know, that bar that you can bring the whole thing out, which is great. The amount of times that I could have used such a thing, really, you know what I mean? I I, uh, I don't use it. Um, that much to go the the forward and back because of the the space and where yeah. it's positioned. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But but you can. But I can. Yeah. If yeah. I wanted to, I can by all means. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it and it and it can tilt as well. It tilts. Oh right. Yeah, it tilts as well. So it's brilliant. not just forward backwards. It actually pivots. That's as brilliant. Well. That is. Do you know what I mean? Brilliant. And and that was um, given to me. Well, purchased it off a of, purchased it off a mate. Yeah. Um, Probably a couple of years ago, and my um, my wood storage. <laughs> it's great. I mean, he's made use of every single inch of this workshop. I mean, you know, this is all the long stuff up here. I like that. I like this. The tubing. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant, and the fact that it's see through as well. <laughs> yes, so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you got the flat, all your flat stuff here. Yeah, brilliant. So what's next? Um, table saw. So what do you do? You have to fold that out, or do yeah, you take it? Yeah. The, yeah. The, the good thing about this table saw, because as you see, it's only a small workshop, and I haven't got much space. It's, it's beautiful this for this reason alone. Oh yeah. Yeah, perfect. brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. So when I need it there, yeah. I can just put it up. When I don't need it. Put it away. Just fold it away. Fold yeah. it away, man. Do you know what That's I mean? That's great. And it's, and it's my first table saw that I purchased. Mm. The, the the first one that I got that was off my dad, and um, he had it a few years um, in his garage. Um, it needed a bit of work, but um, I got it back here, fixed it up. I even put a, a new table on it, and um, after a couple of years, it started to get a bit dangerous. So. Yeah. I just thought, you know what, get rid of it and purchase this one, man. Do you know what I mean? But I wanted to get a decent one, but I'm, I'm with the budget as well. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Course, Which is yeah. good. Do you know what I mean? For all your hobbies, anyway. So we all, everyone on uh, every small maker like myself and you, um, we have to. You know, we don't have these uh, these unlimited funds, yeah, and, and right. this is the way we got to do things. Yeah, yeah. But it makes when you're using it more pleasurable of course you know of course and then um oh this is the air these are great these are 
Not bad, are they? Yeah, I like the. Is that just to stop yeah, all the, the dust? Just, just to stop all the dust. Do you know what I mean? When I want to take it away and yeah. use it fully, I can do that. But when I'm doing all my little small projects, put that on. Yeah. Connect the holes. Job done. Do you know what Brilliant. I mean? Mortis, sir. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then my bandsaw, another tool that this belonged to me dad, um, but he um, it, it, it didn't use it, so I've used it and now I'm just waiting for another belt yeah. just to replace and then I'll jump back on today. And, um, so was your dad a, a carpenter or maker? Well, he, he, to be honest, all of us really, like from my dad, my granddad, um, we all made stuff yeah. somehow, do you know yeah. what I mean? My dad was in the army, you know, the British army for uh, 26 years. And brilliant. in that time, he used to build all the furniture, like mm. tables, chairs, beds, um, free priests, everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? My dad used to build everything. So I think that's where I get it so from. Yeah, so it's in your blood, really. Yeah, it's in yeah. your blood, do you know yeah. what I mean? And this here is all my, as I would say, my exotic wood. Nice. <laughs> all my nice pieces Sapili, of wood. there's a bit of sapili there, there's a bit of uh, mahogany there. Up here. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at the grain on that. Lovely. <laughs> what are you planning on doing with that, though? Pardon? What are you planning on making with that? Um. Not too sure, <laughs> but no, no, in me, something, something yeah. will come up. Yeah. One day I'll just grab something and just start cutting. Yeah. Do you know yes. what I mean? That's that's how sneak works, really. really? Um, I I started doing this years and years ago, screwing the lids to the top. It, yeah. it just works, doesn't it? Yeah. You know. The, the thing is, I can just when I'm on a project, the last thing I want to do is to go in my cases and take out stuff. I can just reach. And, and just, yeah, that's the size I need straight away. How many's in there? I can see. Do you know what I mean? All yeah. that is just great. Works. The good thing about having a mother in law, man, she saves all the jars for yeah. you. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So there's your cost cutter. Yes. Um, is it Titan? Mm. Not bad, any? Yeah. I like the way you've, done, you've extended the beds. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. And what's this? This is like um, all your sandpapers, is it? Yeah, this is just like um, all my bits of sandpaper, all my different sizes, do you, do you know what I mean? Um, and then I've got, as you know, I need to get you to come around and organise my workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is unbelievable. Take a note out of Sneak's book here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to just grab I just like to know where things yeah. are so I can just go up, grab it. It's not always like this, do you know what I mean? Everybody knows as a true um yeah. maker, uh I've done a quick tie job to, because I knew you were coming. But yeah. yeah. Last night when I was on the project, it it, it was a state, do you know what I mean? And you just got to get on with it sometimes, do you know what I mean? Everyone's the same. I mean, in my workshop, it's usually um, like the bomb's been set off in there. Yeah. So I'll make something mm -hmm. and I'll use all the tools in my workshop. Yeah. And then a week later, I think, right, I better clean up. And then you'll clean up. Right. I, I'm, I must admit, I can't go that long. <laughs> the <laughs> longest I can go is probably about two days, two or three days. And, and then it just gets on top of me. Then I just have to clear up. And once I do that, I'm like, yeah, because yeah. the thing is, because I work with resin, yeah. um, you, you, you have to keep the dust and, and the mess um, to a minimum. That, yeah. That's the way I work, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because with the resin, you just have to be careful with it. You don't want to get it contaminated with, with anything. Yeah, you don't want things sure. falling into it and stuff like that. And when you've got stuff hanging around, it, it can cause problems, do you mm, know what I mean? But yeah, Definitely. But each day wrong, really. And then this, all this side here, my my makeshift drawers, my first drawers that I've ever built. Do you know what I mean? So, do they work though? Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's all that matters, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it just, yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. And another little sliding one to all, all my main tools that that I want measuring and all stuff like that are just there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where I don't have to, as I said, I don't like reaching and yeah. thinking yeah. where stuff are. 
And as you know, as a as a black man, you gotta have your stereo system. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to be a black man to have a, a good sound uh, system in the well, in your workshop. Do you know? Do you know? People <coughs> say to me, "Why have you got the stereo in?" I says, "Come on, you gotta have music yeah. when you're working." Yeah. yeah. You know. Definitely. I can't work in silence just with the the, the machine noises yeah. and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Gotta have a bit of music. Of course. Yeah, I totally agree. I've I've got uh, music in my workshop, but obviously when when I'm filming, mm -hmm. um, I have to turn it off obviously because of you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it can get quite lonely um, in a workshop when when you're on your own for hours trying to produce a video or make some right. art. Right. Yeah. It does get quite yeah. lonely sometimes. Yeah. You know? Um. But when I'm normally on my own, have I ever got? Let my mate, my music playing, or um, I hook my phone up to my monitor and just watch maker videos. Oh yeah. While, while, yeah, I'm, while yeah. I'm in here, so I'm I'm still hearing. Yeah, yeah. Stuff yeah. what's going on? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Brilliant. So what's this area? This is. Uh, this is like all my 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 paints and yeah, millipop. Oh, you got the fantastic product, man. <laughs> yes, I got the, I had the to. When I went, yeah. yeah. When I went this year to make essential. And I noticed that they brought out a new colour. It was like, oh my God, mm -hmm. I've got to get that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I've made a made a, one of my biggest projects with all the milliputs yeah. in. Do you know what I mean? Nice. I love it. Fantastic product. Mm. And then all that, you know, all my glues, my um, paints, you know. Well, you got the... Uh the old gr the yes. Gorilla glue. Yes. Did you get that from Make Essential? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, I did. And there's a sticker wall. Let me take That's that cool. for you. Let's see what we got on there. We've got quite a few other people on there. I think I know nearly everyone on there. Really? Cool. Not personally, but yeah. no of them. Yeah. There you go. Thumbnail. Brilliant. Right, so this area. Yes, this this has to be. This is practically the nerve centre of right. Sneaks Wall Art. Do you know what I mean? Ah, right, because okay. I think my favourite tool has to be the router. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I love the router table. That's how I started learning mm. how to use the router safely. In, in my eyes. Yeah. So I built this router table. I mean, but this is how you do it, guys. Right. This is how you do it. Look at that. <laughs> I know some of the stuff in there get a bit dusty, but uh, what doesn't? No, I just love the fact that you've got glass on the front. It's brilliant. Yeah. It, was a, it, you know? it was a storage cupboard that was at someone's shop and they was throwing it out and I says, no, I can't have that. Yeah. I've got it. That would be good use for something. And I just thought, you know what? I think this must be my third router table, do you know what I mean? Now, this is the one I'm sticking with for a bit. I'm just going to go on that side because it's bleaching it out. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on, sorry, go on. Yeah, um, as I said, somebody was throwing it out and I just couldn't I just couldn't have it, do you know what I mean? With the glass and the shelves, I was thinking, hmm. I wasn't exactly thinking a router table, but yeah. I thought it'd be a good use in my shop. Brilliant so, idea. When I got it in here, I thought to myself, hmm, router table. I, I found this top, as you know. And then I just cut some, cut a hole in there, and put my own plate in, and then Bob's your uncle, put a router Brilliant. in there. Brilliant. And do you use this for doing your resin and stuff as yes, well? On, yes, so there's another table. Yes, yes. Oh. yes. So when I'm not using my router, yeah, as a tabletop, do you know what I mean? Good light as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and my um, French cleat wall that I'm very proud of. <laughs> Brilliant. All my router bits and everything. I wish mine looked so neat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've had a bit of a tour of, of the shop, other than this. Let me look at that. <laughs> makes uh, you know what Every, everything I look at in this shop is uh, making me feel a bit of a slob um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just see what 
makes sneaks tick. Or sneak tick. I keep putting an S on the end for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, anyway. So what's what's your your favourite tool? Something that you're really comfortable with uh, and you use most days? Mm -hmm. It would have to be this router, this palm router here. This little tool here. What is it? Uh, katsu. katsu. Is this the one that were little doing one like this? Um, I don't think it was the same. They were doing a small. I think I think so. But I bought this one off eBay. Right. Do you know what I mean? And um, I just wanted a small palm router. I wasn't going for no names or anything like yeah. that. I just wanted a, yeah. a you know a budgie palm router and this came to mind you know what I mean once I looked on it and found out this is absolutely brilliant man I can't I can't fault it it looks like you got a lot of control I done that, that myself yeah. I built that yeah brilliant. I built that do you know what I mean so, um, it's this base here obviously that yeah. comes with the router yeah but then I made the handles and the base because when 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 you're holding it like this, you can't really hold it like that and have good yeah. good control. My eye, in my eyes, anyway. So I thought to myself, for me to get more delicate projects, nice clean edges, mm. I needed two hands. More control. More over control. It. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just designed and, and made that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's perfect. It's great. I've seen a lot of people do this with really? the clear perspex, yeah. But with the uh, the cheaper um, uh, little ones that were selling. All oh, right, okay. Uh, but I mean, the the little ones are cheap, mm -hmm. but they sold out immediately. Yeah, they yeah, would. And people love them. Yeah. But it's a similar thing, yeah. you know. But yeah, they uh, another buddy of mine. Um, he's got a couple of them actually, uh, and he's made different uh, bases. different bases. Yeah, for more yeah. control. Yeah. yeah. That's all it's all about. It's more control. You know what I mean? mm. And safety as well. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm keen when it comes to using these these power tools and machines and that. It's all about safety as well. Do you know what I mean? Do you find this helps with normal routers? There is a direction you, you travel. You know that. Yeah. Um, when you're you're cutting out like on the top of your box over there, yeah. you're not always going to be able to go in that one direction. You've no. got to come back and back and yeah. forwards. Does this really help? Yes, it does. With the kickback? Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. A, a lot. Yeah. A, a, you, you, know, you will know the, the difference. Yeah. Once you put your palm rods on a base, you yeah. will know the, the difference yeah. straight away. Do you know what I mean? You see, it's like the inc in, interesting. Sorry. To see the detailing of, of that, yeah. the curves and that, to try and get it as perfect like that with, without using um, a CNC or anything like that, yeah. just, just freehand. Do you yeah. know what I mean, you can achieve stuff like that. I did see this on your Instagram that you did this freehand. It's uh, it's brilliant. Mm. So yeah, my most favourite tool has to be this palm router. Yeah, brilliant. Has to be, love it. And oh, you've got a few different routers, haven't you? Yes. I mean, that's that's. Uh, that's a huge thing. That is. Yes, that's for when <laughs> when when I'm. When I want some um, power to get into the, into some some tougher woods, do you know what I mean? Yeah, some, yeah. Some, um, some hard woods. Hard woods, yeah. 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 That that's what that's made for. Do you know what I mean? What's what's the? Oh, I think it's that. Like, EBX. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure. Hmm. I think it's, it, uh, it does look a hefty thing though. Yeah, yeah, it does the job. It it definitely does the job. But the the the, the beast router yeah. has to be the table has underneath to, there. Has to be. Oh, JCB. Yeah, yeah. That, that's 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 my beast. <laughs> Brilliant. So, I'm going to ask it. What is your least favorite tool in in the workshop? Um, if there is a least favourite, there might not be. The the one tool that 
that seems to be giving me the most problems anytime I try to use the it has to be the, the compressor no oh, right okay the compressor and the air gun yeah that gives me this I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it I, yeah. I think it's to do with me personally not using it properly right do you know okay. what I mean but I'll say that's the the only tool in the in the workshop that just gives me problems all the time you know that's why I don't make certain things because I know with the because I've got a nailer yeah. Do you know what I mean? A Brad nailer. A Brad nailer. I, I would yeah. love to use that because I see it on YouTube yeah. and things like that. I'd love to know how to use that. And, you know, mm. but it gives me problems every single time. Oh, right, okay. So that's so the, plus, uh, it, plus it, plus it, plus um, it, plus it scares me <laughs> when, when I'm working and then, you know, you, it suddenly you, kicks it, off. It certainly <laughs> kicks in and, and you're like, oh my God, man. <laughs> it's caught me off guard a few yeah. times. Brilliant. So, what um, what's behind uh, Sneak or Sneak's wall art? Who who inspired you? Why do you do what you do? Um, not all of us are inspired to pick up the tools and do things. Um, some people, it's it's just in their blood as an artist. What about you? What did anyone in particular inspire you? I wouldn't say that there was anyone and an individual inspired me to to start creating. It, it's just something that I've always had in me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've always known that I've been good with my hands. Um, I I I used to be good in school when it came to woodwork, metalwork, needlework. I used to do, I was probably the only lad in the class doing needlework. I didn't mind, I loved it, I loved sewing. Um, I did a bit of drawing as well, nothing too fancy. But um, I always knew that I was good with my hands. And as you know, when you, you leave school, you, you go out into the world, you go to work and then met my missus and had children. And I built stuff for them like a little playhouse. and. That was out of pallets because I'm a firm believer in recycle. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Especially with the wood, anyway. Do you know what mm. I mean? I just love to mess about with recycled wood. And then once my kids grew up to a certain age, they didn't depend on me so much, so I could have the back garden again. Mm. And that's when I built. Um, it was a chill out room to start off with, you know. And then within. A few months, it turned into a, 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 a somewhere where I could make stuff. Do you know yeah, what I mean? You could express yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm. definitely. And then from me starting to express myself, my gosh, mm. it's just came out in, into this yeah. sneaks wall art. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've always been known as sneak, but sneaks wall art came after. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that's where I am today. So why sneak? Why sneak? <laughs> well, that, that, that's a long story, but I'll try and cut it short. Basically, when I was, when I was younger, um, as a young teen, I was very quiet. Um, always in the background with my mates and all of that, and quite shy of women, do you know what I mean? And, do you know, and all that. So I used to stand back and watch and see, what's, take notes, what's going on. Mm. How do people do things? So people started to notice I'm in the background and I didn't like that because they knew th there's something more about me. And then with all the pressures and of all that growing up, um, people started to say, come out your shell and, and get to know us and all this. And then from that day, I never looked back. <laughs> and I used to go out and we used to go and see people and, and they used to put me in the front because I could talk to people, I could break the ice, do you know what I mean? I could ease everybody into it. And then from there, they used to, pay, they used to say to me, oh, you're just a little sneaky one, man. Do you know oh, what I mean? Like right. you can yeah. get yeah. in there, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. yet from them days, I was called <laughs> the sneak, you know what I mean? Well, sneak. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Even my mother calls me sneak. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're in sneak's hat. Can I turn this on? Is that right? I don't think it's oh. a good light. Oh, that's fine, yeah, that's fine. 
bit, it'll probably be a bit yellow, but it doesn't matter. Right, so we're, we're just going to have a little um, look at some of the stuff that Sneaks um, has produced, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, this behind me is, what is it? It's, it's ply? Yeah, it's ply. Plywood and ply mini putt. And mini putt, yeah. yeah. I mean, look at this. Try and get close up. This is all little strips of mini putt. It looks like a jigsaw puzzle, um, but it's it's uh, it's lit from the back as well. Look at that! <laughs> I got it. It's a statement that is. There you go, Jim. This is uh, all milliput. And these are all yeah. yeah. So there's a clock. These are one of my first pieces that I made yeah. ever. Yeah. I like them. And then, uh, is that? Yeah. Oh yes, I can see why. This looks like that stuff I've given you. Do you know the the that um, acrylic? Yeah. That's what I was uh, picturing you doing. Something like you know with with that. Anyway. That's resin and glitter. Just resin and glitter. Nice. <laughs> and this is, uh, oh, I've seen this one on. Um... Are these people you know? It's my family. Is it? Yeah. That's my oh, that's right. Missus. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. That's my daughter. And that's my son. Oh, right. That's <laughs> brilliant. And this is all routed out yeah. and filled in with resin. With glitter. resin, glitter, and um, brass um, swarf. Is it? Yeah. So all that gold bit that you can see in there is is, um, is brass. You won't see this on camera, but if you look at an angle, you can actually see that it's not flat underneath the re this resin. It's actually... Um, I'll actually explain it. It's like... It's not just flat. It's in the resin. It, it, yeah, it's there's, like it's there's hills and inside, yeah. valleys. Yes, and yes. Brilliant. I love that. That's really nice. And this as well. This is great. I love this. That's copper wire. Yeah. Brilliant. Someone said to me that I should do another one of these, but more of the like stitching, the stitching look. Oh, to I it. totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. Maybe all the way oh, around. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. And what's that one behind? This was just all... This is my first take of um, slicing bits of wood up together yeah. and um, gluing them. Like laminating. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then just um, doing the sneaks touch as you, yeah. as you can see. Yeah, yeah. And then just varnishing. Yeah, and I just, it's good. Just, it's just the contrast between all the different types of wood. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you've got two different types of ply there. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's that? I think, I, think that's my, I think that's my hug. That's, I think that's mahogany, that is. Mm, yeah, like it. What's that? Is that your...? That was my emblem, my first ever one. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, a bit more milliput. Yes. I did see this one on Instagram. Actually, that's. I think a, a lot of people has commented on on um, this um, octopus. Yeah. With the milliput that says the effects that it it it, it draws you oh, in. Definitely, man. definitely. It's like when you look at a Damascus blade. You really. You know, there's a lot to see. Yeah. Uh, you know. And that was my yeah. first take. I'm using Millipool. Was it? My first yeah. experiment using yeah. Millipool. I yeah. love this stuff, man. Because you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. It's all it. about how far you mix it. Yes. <laughs> Depending yeah. how much you mix it and, and and how far you sand it back. Yeah. The finish. It's like if I took another layer off there, it would completely change. It would. Yeah. Do, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, the, that's the thing I love about it. You can never make that again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got this one. This this piece is lovely. Why is that counting down? Anyway, look at that. 
It's uh, you can't really see it on camera much, but it's really good. Is it backlit? Yeah. Yes, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. This is my very, very first um, art piece that I ever made. This is the art piece that inspired me to continue making right. just okay. by cutting shapes off of a seat that I was yeah. making for the, as I said, the pallet benches um, outside. They fell off on the floor and started to build a pattern up. And I was thinking, hold on a minute, I love the way they, the shapes are forming. Yeah. Yeah. That is what I came up with. I knew I had to use them somehow, but I didn't know how. But I just stuck them together on top of each other and then painted the two colours, the black and the white. Brilliant. I like it. Uh, and there's another one. Guys, Snick's uh, house is just full of his art. <laughs> I'll try not to get you in there. <laughs> oh, that's another one on you. Yeah, mother and baby in gold. So is this, is this you? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm more mini put. So we've had a little tour of the stuff in the house. They're very impressive, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Um, I'm surprised you haven't put it off for sale. <laughs> yeah. D that's that's the next step. Do you know what I mean? As my mum would always say, um, nothing's done before it's time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, just, just just quickly, uh, briefly before we wrap it up. Um, so, did you go and have any training, like in college, for any of this sort of thing? None or, whatsoever. No, no, um, no courses. No courses. Artists. No, 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 nothing. It's it's all self-taught. Right. Okay. I've just gone on. I've gone online to see how things are done properly. And then I just implement it myself yeah. and just and, and just crack on, basically. Do you know what I mean? People say you gotta have the qualifications to do this and, and do that. But if if you've got the ability to do something, do it. Mm. That's my motto. What's the worst that can happen? You, you <laughs> fail, any? Yeah. You fail and then you just try again. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's my motto. Everything that you see in my shop here, I built myself mm. I didn't ask for I didn't get any help I had my brother of course mm. to help me build it do you know what I mean the exterior and all, and all that but everything within the shop I built myself do you know what I mean mm. and I'm a firm believer of that brilliant well I've enjoyed having a, a you know spending an hour or so with you and having a look around you know and and seeing how someone else does it you know so it's been I'll a pleasure thank you for that it's been a pleasure having you here. Right. So yeah, I'll leave um, links to Sneak's um, Instagram. Uh, I'm hoping that he shares some of this with you guys and um, and starts recording some of his, you know, his art. It's coming. Um, yeah. So we've had a brief discussion about this. So I'm hoping that you know I can help him in some way. But. Um, but yeah, thanks to Sneak. Head over, follow him on Instagram. You won't regret it, guys. And if you want to buy any of his art, just get in touch. I'm sure he'd be happy to say so. Yeah, I would. <laughs> All right. All right, cheers, guys. And we'll see you in the next invasion. <laughs>